About a year ago, you came out of the bathroom and said, I just thought of the best way to roast you during our vows. <laughs> Needless to say, I've been panicking since that moment. Thanks for always keeping me on my toes. I had a lot of trouble writing these. How am I supposed to sum up three decades in five minutes? It's an impossible task, but I'm going to try my best. I have known you for 29 years. I'm not going to pretend to remember the first time we met, or what I thought of you, or the years after that. When you know someone that long, they become a part of you. From beating you up at age three, to deeply <laughs> analyzing our favorite TV show at age 14, to talking about dreams and plans at 17, to political discussions at 26, to the life we now share in our 30s, you are so much a part of who of the person I am. Every bit of it has led us here, and I'm so grateful for that. We really got to know each other when we were in middle school. We would talk on AIM for hours about so many different things. I know you tried this then, so before you say, I told you so, which I have no doubt will be a part of your vows. <laughs> when we spent all those hours talking as teenagers, there were so many things I didn't know about you. I didn't know how much you could make me laugh. But it's not just that you're funny, it's that you want to make other people smile. You will do or say absolutely anything to make someone laugh, because when they're laughing, you've made them happy even if just for a moment. That's one of my favorite things about you. I didn't know how smart you are. I had no idea that you could fix any technological issue or that you would offer such intense insight about whatever we're discussing. You always give a different perspective or theory and you really challenge me to think and grow. I didn't know how sweet you can be. You are one of my biggest cheerleaders, always offering me encouragement and compliments on everything from career to weight loss. You always show your thoughtfulness and care and I really appreciate that about you. I didn't know how nerdy you are. <laughs> you could talk for hours about a bunch of topics, but especially movies. Whether it's plot and character, or camera angles, or pixels and sound waves, I love to hear your analysis and passion. I didn't know how weird you are. <laughs> Singing the complete soundtrack of The Little Mermaid in the Shower, voices on the wall, to dressing up in full costume, to do a ridiculous techno dance, to laying an IQ test on fire. You always take me aback. Your weird match is mine. Well, mostly. And I love that we can be our strangest selves with each other. I didn't know how comfortable I would feel with you. I've shared things with you that I haven't felt comfortable sharing with anyone else. And just having you there to listen and talk me through it has made such a huge difference in my life. I feel so completely at peace with you, whether we're being goofy or going to an event or doing nothing at all. Being together is always enough. I didn't know how much I'd end up loving you and everything you are, but that I found my best friend. I can't wait to continue growing up on for the rest of our lives. When we were teenagers, I didn't know any of these things about you, but I've discovered them over the past few years and I haven't looked back. Look at all of these people. These are just a fraction of the people who love you for all the reasons I've just named in the morning. I am so lucky to count myself among them. It's been a hell of a year. I feel like we don't really need to take those traditional vows because we've already proven them. We've been through the good times and bad part after losing two people who were so close to us within just a few months of each other. We've already done the sickness and health part after your well, COVID hospital stint. <laughs> <laughs> We've done the poor part too, but still waiting on the richer. <laughs> anyway, I feel like we've mostly covered them, so I'm gonna make some promises of my own. I promise to never stop laughing at your jokes. I promise to hype up your cooking. I promise to cheer on all Philly teams with you. I promise to scream and sulk when every single Philly team inevitably, disappoint, inevitably disappoints us. <laughs> I promise to make you savor all the shows we watch instead of letting you just blow right through them like a heathen. I promise to eat the pickles and other rabbit shit off your plate. <laughs> gossip I get. I promise to always dance with you. I promise to never stop learning from you. I promise to brag about you to other people so they can know how funny and wonderful you are. I promise to make the most amazing life with you. I promise to strive every day to be the person you deserve. I promise to love you with my whole heart for the person you are. You make that one easy most of the time. I promise all these things and more and I feel so lucky that I'm the person who gets, who gets to make them. I don't have to do these things. I get to. Isn't that something? I love you and I can't wait to keep 
loving you for the rest of our lives. <laughs>